Hello everyone, this is Alex from alexlancer.com and today I would like to introduce to you a new series of Codeigniter 4 videos that will help you get started with Codeigniter 4 even if you have never worked with PHP frameworks before. But before we get started, let's answer some basic questions. What is Codeigniter? So Codeigniter 4 is a PHP application development framework that helps you develop your projects faster by providing you a set of tools for common tasks. So these tasks could be a connection to your database that you have to do in basically every project that you create in PHP, or let's say create a routing functionality so that users can navigate through your website. Another example could be a form validation process so that when user submits a form, you can validate each field by providing a specific set of rules for each one of that field. So these are just some basic examples that I found myself using m most of all. Of course, especially database and routing, it's something that you use in absolutely every application that you make. So last but not least, uh, we have to understand that CodeIgniter uses the MVC model view controller design pattern and in the next slide, let's see what it means. If, if you already know what it is, this will be a good recap for you. And if you don't know what it means, and this is the first time you hear about it, I will show you a really quick example and we'll try to explain it as simple as possible. Imagine we have our user and this user initiates a request to our web application. Each of our requests will be handled by three files three different files. One of them will be a controller, another will be a view, and the third one will be a model. So the controller part, the controller file, is the file that receives the initial request. Then inside the controller, we will structure the logic of our response, and we will decide what information to provide back to our user. While we are structuring this, da this data and building up this logic, we might need to use some, some data from our database. Whenever we need to get some data from the database, we will use a model.php file, where inside of this model.php file, we will be building all of our queries and database manipulation uh, logic and uh, operations. So, if our controller would have to respond back with, let's say, with some blog posts, then the controller would request a model to bring up and to, to query some certain blog post based on the logic or based on the request that the user made. Once the controller has all the data it needs, again, based on the request of the user, then the controller sends this data to the view file, where the view file is simply just a combination of HTML and some PHP basic, basic functions, like maybe some if statements, maybe some, um, maybe some for each loops, and displays this, da this data and sends it back to the user. So, once again, to recap, we have our controller, where controller decides how you will structure all the data. Then, if you need some information from the database, the controller will contact the model, and the model will return back the information that the controller has requested. And then the controller will send this acquired information to the view file, where the view file simply renders the HTML that will, that will be rendered to the user in his browser. So I hope that makes sense, and you will see it is really not that difficult to understand once we get once we get started with our practical examples. So let's go to our next slide, and why choose Code Igniter? Code Igniter is 
uh, is a framework with a small footprint. It is really light. It is just uh, 13 megabytes in compared to some other frameworks that are close to 50. And it has exceptional performance. Historically, Code Igniter was one of the fastest frameworks uh, in the game. Uh, but by having small footprint, doesn't mean that Code Igniter comes with some lack of um, of helpful libraries. Most likely, you will never feel the need that you you need the help of some external libraries. And of course, the last but not least, but maybe even one of the most important uh, points to to outline here is a good documentation on Code Igniter documentation page. Code Igniter always was writing its uh, documents in a very simple and understandable way. Even beginners, beginners developers, can can understand the the process really easy. Uh, even when they are reading some concepts that they have never read before or have never encountered encountered before in their projects. So here we come to our last slide, table of contents, and uh, this is basically what you should expect from this from this series of videos. We will have some Code Igniter 4 overview. We already started the Code Igniter 4 over, Code Igniter overview, but we'll discuss even more throughout the series, covering some some topics that will be coming up. In the in the next video, we will prepare your local environment. We will install Composer and and XAM because the this software this software we will need for our uh, for our project then in uh, in the third video we will go through installation and folder structure to understand where the files are located and where where we should create our own files that we will be using for developing our app and then we will dive into website project but maybe before that we will uh, we will cover some basic concepts like controllers models what they do uh, how they are tied together and basically that's it so by the end of the series you will have a fully functional website that we will create together that's it let's get started and see you in the next video